All right, here's a thread from Carlos Asuita. No idea who Scott Dworkin is, but this tweet is funny. Scott Dworkin. Breaking, Dr. Fauci has been telling Trump to issue a national stay-at-home order, and Trump is refusing to do so because he hates America. Hashtag stop airing Trump now. End tweet. Carlos responds, they're talking about this political artic Politico article, which debunks itself. Politico.com, Fauci endorses national stay-at-home order. Quote, Dr. Anthony Fauci, director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, suggested Thursday that the federal government should impose a nationwide stay-at-home order to help prevent the spread of the coronavirus in the United States. Asked whether all states have to be on the same page in terms of issuing those directives, Fauci told CNN, I don't understand why that's not happening, and acknowledged the Trump administration's hesitance to encroach upon local authorities. End quote. Carlos responds, Okay, let's look at CNN. Anderson Cooper 360, April 2nd. Dr. Anthony Fauci made it clear that he supports all Americans being under a stay-at-home order. Fauci did not say he endorsed a federal stay-at-home order, which Politico acknowledges from Politico, quote, Even Fauci was more equivocal today, Thursday in his support of a stay-at-home order imposed by the administration. It's one of those things that in our country there is still that issue of central government versus the ability and the right of a state to make their own decision, Fauci told today, end quote. Fauci is saying that all states should be on the same page. He's not saying that Trump should issue a federal stay-at-home order. Clearly, if Trump did so, all the blue states would immediately defy it. How would the feds enforce this law? The only way is with the armed forces. Blue state governors would refuse to allow their National Guards to be federalized, so that means send in the Marines. Americans are learning hard lessons here. One, you won't like life under climate change restrictions. Two, most Democrats have no idea how to run government. Three, the press wants you to die so that Trump will be blamed. If governors refuse to halt the spread of COVID-19, that's the fault of the voters. We have to go back to California. Look at the infection spread. Graph, cumulative cases per 100,000, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Washington, California. California is one of the lowest. That is 100% the result of Governor Gavin Newsom following the federal guidelines to a T and speaking to Trump daily. Here's something else. Nobody understands this article from townhall.com. Townhall.com, Newsom, yes, we will use coronavirus to reimagine a progressive era. Here's what Newsom said, quote, There is opportunity for reimagining a progressive era as it pertains to capitalism. Forgive me for being long-winded, but absolutely we see this as an opportunity to reshape the way we do business and how we govern, end quote. There's only one way to interpret that. Reimagine means change the way we think about capitalism. He fooled everybody. He's talking about a new leftism that's more accepting of capitalism. He's seen how capitalism saved his state. The role of government should be to effectively marshal the benefits of capitalism. Newsom has done so. Will he stick with it? No idea. But again, in a democratic representative republic, the voters get the government they deserve. If all the leftist networks stop airing Trump press conferences, that means Fox News gets ratings that go off the charts. Fauci is a scientist. His job is science. As he said himself, a national stay-at-home order is something that almost certainly can't happen. The mayor of New Orleans and Nancy Pelosi defiantly told people to go out and party and when people got infected, they blamed Trump for their own stupidity. Rest assured that Democrats and the press would fight tooth and nail against a federal stay-at-home order. Leftism is an ideology for the terminally mentally ill.
That's why all the sane leftists are walking away. Trump's unbeatable political assets are the insanity of his opponents and their refusal to see him as he really is. Insane people fighting hallucinations are unable to win elections, regardless of the unprecedented pickle that Trump was put in. He's already turned it around, even before the massive economic rebound. Today's presser had the stupidest questions I've ever heard. The interns writing the questions are clearly secret Trump supporters. Personally, I think Trump should talk only to Jim Acosta. Jim's doing incredible damage to the Democrats. But he's delusional, so he'll never perceive it. I love when he has his prissy little tantrums. Manna from heaven. Thanks, Jim.